Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost. This is Axis and Allies Anniversary Edition, uh, the United States and China. The United States has elected to spend $5 on a tech token. So let's get over here and see what happens with that. Yep, they missed. So their token goes over here to their card for next turn. Okay, that was five of their $40. With the rest of it, that over there. With the rest of it, they're buying two transports for 14, an infantry for three, a fighter for 10, and another infantry and a tank for eight. And that's all of their money. Uh, the Americans are not going to do any combat. Oh, yes, they are going to have one combat. Sorry about that. This bomber from the eastern United States is going to fly one, two, three, four, do an auto kill on the unprotected German transport, and then fly one space back here to land at British Gibraltar. So that was their combat move. Now in non-combat, uh, this fighter from Eastern United States is gonna fly four spaces to Gibraltar. Over here. This carrier and destroyer in C-Zone 44 are gonna go one, two spaces to C-Zone 53. This fighter from Western United States is gonna go one, two spaces out here to land on the carrier. This transport is going to move one space down here, hauling one infantry to join the Hawaiian Island garrison. This infantry from Central United States moves one space over to Western United States. This bomber flies three spaces out here to land in Hawaii. And that's that. Now we have a look at China. Um, I just had a, a brief second thought. I decided this is not a good idea. The carrier and destroyer had been in C-Zone 44. They're going to go two spaces up here to C-Zone 56 instead. And then the destroyer is going to escort the transport down there. I like that better. Okay, now we look at Hawaii, or China. Uh, the Chinese aren't going to do anything... This turn, no combat, no non-combat. Uh, the Chinese don't spend money in this game. By the way, that's the end of American non-combat. The Chinese don't spend money in this game. What they do is they count their territories, and then they get one infantry for every two. So they have seven, so they get three infantry. They're going to place one Suyin, one Hopei, and one in Fukien. And uh, they cannot have any more than three infantry in any one zone. Okay, now we'll place the American units. 
We're getting one transport for the West Coast. They're also getting an infantry for the West Coast and a fighter. East Coast, they're going to get a transport. Tank and an infantry. Okay. Collect money. The Americans are at 38 on the income chart. And they have two bonuses worth $5 each. Currently, so that's going to be forty-eight dollars for them. They get a five-dollar bonus for controlling all of the United States, and uh, they get another five-dollar bonus. For controlling Midway, Wake, Hawaii, and the Solomons. They have to have three out of the four. Right now they have all of them. So that's $48 for them. Ozark Outpost. Over and out.